Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add an existing virtual hard disk to an encrypted virtual machine in VMware Workstation. So you probably know that in order to install Windows 11 in VMware Workstation, you need to use encryption and you have to use a TPM. And of course, there are ways to get around it. We have a couple of videos on how you could do that. Uh, but if you're just doing the standard way, then you're probably using the encryption and the TPM. So let's check out the settings here. All right, so we have the Trusted Platform Module, TPM. And then if we go to Access Control, we could see it's encrypted there. So now if we go back to Hardware and we try to add an existing hard disk, not a new one. Let's go through the wizard here, Existing Virtual Disk. Let's browse to it. We're going to do this guy here. The selected virtual disk is unencrypted and cannot be used with an encrypted virtual machine, so you can't do it. So the way to get around it, so we're going to shut down this virtual machine here. Okay, so we're going to go back to the uh, settings here. And if you try to decrypt it first, you can see you can't do that because the TPM is still there. So you have to go to the hardware tab, remove the TPM first, and now you can go back here, remove encryption. You'll need to know the encryption password. So this will take a few minutes, so we'll pause the video for this. Okay, so the encryption has been removed. So one thing I've noticed is sometimes you have to just click OK to kind of complete the process and then go back in, otherwise you might get a warning. So I'll click OK, go back into the settings. So now I should be able to add that virtual disk by clicking on Add, Hard Disk. I'll go with the recommended, existing virtual disk. 120 gig disk. Okay, so now what we want to do is go back and add the encryption, but you'll see you can't do that because of there are the pending changes. So that's what I was talking about. So we'll click OK. Go back in. Okay, so we need to add the TPM as well, but you can't add the TPM until it's encrypted. So you have to do that first. So we'll go back here, go back to Access Control, Encrypt. Put in the password, you could use the same one or a different one. Just make sure you never forget this password. And then you can do all the files or only the files needed. So we're going to do only the files needed. So it's a lot quicker to encrypt than to decrypt. And now we'll go back, add the TPM, and click OK. Now let's fire it up and make sure that Windows recognizes it. All right, we're probably going to have to go into disk management. Let's see what File Explorer says. Okay, so it looks like it actually recognized it. Let's see what disk management says. Okay, so there's the 120 gig disk. So since this was a disk used on a previous computer, that's why it recognized it and imported it and gave a drive letter. If it were just a blank disk, you'd have to come in here and you know import it or add it and then create a volume and format and all that other good stuff. All right, so once again, let's go to the settings here. So to add the disk, you're going to need to remove the TPM, go to Access Control, decrypt it, and you know, shut it down first, of course, and then you could click OK to get out of the settings, go back in, Attach your other virtual disk, go back in, add the TPM, and re-encrypt it, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.